Uh, well, thanks, Ollie, for joining me. Um, this is a very exciting concept. Can you explain about what EV2Go is? Yeah, sure. Uh, Chris, thanks so much for the invitation. Uh, EV2Go actually stands for Electric Vehicle to Go, and it's a scooter sharing hiring model using the free floating sharing model, actually, which means uh, people can look on an uh, app where the next scooter is available. They can reserve the scooter and then uh, walk to the scooter, commence driving and uh, can stop the rental wherever they, they like to within a defined home zone. Okay, yes. cool. So they do that through an app? Yes, they do it through an app, correct? Yes, okay. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And so, um, whereabouts are we working from? So, uh, I'm based in Darwin, okay. and that's where our pilot project will commence uh, in June, uh, beginning of July. And we will start with 10, 11 scooters. Wow. Yeah, so that's like our first scooter which we just received from the test laboratory for the um, evaluation testing so yeah. that we can get it registered in Australia. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's it. <laughs> It's very exciting. So I've, I've had a test ride today and I've got to say it's nice and smooth. Thank you. Can you talk to me about you know the specs? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this model is the Moped model. In the Northern Territory we can have um, a Moped which means it can travel up to 50 kilometers per hour mm -hmm. and you can drive it with a car license. Okay. And just for the scooter sharing it's very interesting because you know we have much more people uh, who have a car license and a motorcycle license mm -hmm. so that's perfect so we can uh, have more customers uh, using our uh, scooter sharing. Sure. Yes. So if, if like myself I've got a motorcycle license, yes. if I Give evidence of that. Can I go faster then, or what's the go? No, unfortunately, it's really limited to 50 kilometers per hour. Uh -huh. Because also in Australia, the Australian design rules they have kind of different motorcycle classes. Okay. This one is called LA, and it can travel up up to 50 kilometers per hour. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. And so, what size is the motor then? Yeah. Okay. So it's a four kilowatt uh, motor, uh -huh. and there is a battery, 1.5 um, kilowatt hour, mm -hmm. and the motorcycle or the scooter can actually hold up to three batteries. Ah. So that means we can extend the range from 6 to kilometers for one battery up to 186 kilometers with three batteries. Gotcha. Which so is, then that's like 4.5 kilowatt hours then? Yes. With three different batteries? Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Which makes it very interesting for the scooter sharing market. Definitely. Yes. So you showed me before about the, the battery swap in and out. Yes. So how would that work for the people who are actually renting it? Yeah. Uh, they don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. They just uh, hire the scooter and drive because we will take over. Uh, for all the swapping, yeah. So okay. the, the people don't have access to the batteries itself. Okay. The seat bench is locked the whole time. Sure. And so we take care of that. All right, cool. Yes. I've found a EV to go that I'd like to hire. Yes. Yep. Okay. I walk up to it. Yes. Um, what's going to happen then? Okay. So first, you look on the app and then you look. Okay, where is the next EV to go scooter? Yeah. You can see. Oh, there is one 70 meters away at Woolworths, for example. Sure. So you can reserve it for free for 15 minutes. Uh -huh. That gives you enough time to walk there. Yeah. So once you reach the scooter, the scooter notices. Oh, okay. This is your phone who will reserve the scooter. Mm -hmm. Then you can start start hire. The moment you press start hire. Actually, the uh, 39 cents per minute starts. It's like the rental price. Mm -hmm. There is a $2 uh, unlock fee, and then it's 39, min 39 cents per minute. Okay. At the same time, you can then open the helmet box. Yeah. There is a helmet in there, and also a, a vest. Yeah. And uh, also a hairnet, if you don't like to use you know, the, uh, the, the helmet um, without a hairnet, so sure. then you can protect yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then off you go, you know, you. You just ride away. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it was very easy to uh, ride. You know, basically it's just got a, uh, you know, throttle that goes fast. Correct. Yes. You know, goes slow. Yes. You know, and um, you know, I was playing around with the regen because at first you I was did. surprised that I, I let go of the throttle <laughs> and on my motorbike normally that brings me to a bit of a slow down. Yes. Whereas this actually was like, oh, I just got to coast along. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but it actually it could actually change the regen on it. Yes. So, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I must admit, uh, of course, the scooter sharing people uh, they won't have access to the menu. That's really we have to set it. You know, and then because they, for them it's only start and go and, uh -huh. and, and finish the rental, yeah. Gotcha. But for of course for private use, they yes. have full access to the menu. Gotcha. The menu. Yeah. Fair enough. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Sure. All right. So. Yeah. W w What's happening now? What's your next step? Okay, next step is, so I'm here in Melbourne, in beautiful Melbourne. Yeah. Um, and I'm on my way back to Darwin. Um, the scooter will be on a trailer. I will have a stop in Handorf where I will promote the scooter sharing business and also the scooter um, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then I will continue traveling to Alice Springs on the 23rd of uh, April. We will also have a promotion there yeah. with um, Alistronics. 
and then I'll have the final step back to uh, Darwin, um, where then I will actually start um, promoting the scooter sharing business. Yeah. The app is just uh, getting ready to for people to register. Yeah. And as I said, we uh, aim to go live uh, end of June, like perhaps uh, first week of July. Yes, that's and it. yeah, that's it. Off we go. Off we go. <laughs> well, well done. I think it's a really exciting concept. Thank you know, you. and I think that. Um, that in, in the environment of the Northern Territory, Darwin, yes, it's, it's just perfect, it's suited to it. Yes, it, it, it really does. And honestly, uh, the scooter sharing is the one side of the business, but yeah. uh, being the distributor for Kumpan Electric in Australia, mm. you know, it's also very good uh, for remote uh, communities, you know, in the Northern Territory. Yeah. They, they don't need really a workshop because there's not much maintenance. Yeah. They can charge with solar power the battery, you know, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's just great. Yeah, and also in Melbourne, I was here the last uh, three days, you know, if you have electric scooter, it's perfect. I mean, there's so much traffic in the cars. With a scooter, yeah. you can, you know, just go, uh, travel along and you can yes. charge the batteries at your workplace if the employer allows it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, yeah, or you can charge it at home. You, you have seen how easy it is to exactly. swap batteries. So, yeah, yeah. No, mm. for sure. You know, yes. many years ago, I had an electric scooter, but yes. the old sort with the old lead acid batteries. All oh, right, okay, sure. And yes, so when I was at work, I used to recharge because yeah. I had to. Yes, I yeah. had to. I had to, I had to yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because of course the distance wasn't that far. At that oh, time. no. Yeah. no. I mean, it, it, it goes further, you know. every couple of years, I guess, you know, the batteries are improved mm -hmm. and the technical proofs. Yes, yes for yeah, sure. That's right. Well, excellent. When the app comes out and you are live, I'd like to hear from you again. Chris, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And look, thanks very much for um, being on the show and Thank you. Yeah, all the best. Chris, thanks so much. It was really wonderful and, uh, you know, sustainable transport for all of us. So it will be a very exciting future. Definitely. Thank you so much, Chris. Cheers. Thank you.